Wilhelm Steinitz, 1836-1900, was the first officially recognized world champion of chess. Born in Prague, Bohemia, he moved to Vienna to pursue his studies. Honing his chess skills in Vienna coffee houses, he soon drew notice as a feared attacking player. Steinitz won matches against many of the world's elite players, including England's Joseph Blackburn and the German great Adolf Anderson. Steinitz's match victory over Johannes Zuckertort in 1886 confirmed his status as the world's top player. In his later years, Steinitz became renowned for his emphasis on sound positional fundamentals and was noted for defending the indefensible. His early years saw him playing in the slashing, take-no-prisoner style that characterized the mid-1800s. This helped Steinitz develop his tactical and defensive skills. The following game, played in the great 1895 Hastings tournament, is one of his best. E4 E5 Knight F3 Knight C6 Bishop C4 Bishop C5 C3 Knight F6 D4 E takes D4 C takes D4 Bishop B4 check Knight C3 Steinitz has chosen a sharp gambit line of the Gioco Piano. D5. This looks like a good move at first sight, but Black soon has problems getting his king to safety. Black should take the proffered pawn with knight captures e4, castles, bishop captures c3, and now the extremely tricky d5, known as the molar attack, represents white's sharpest try for advantage. This variation has been very heavily analyzed over the years, and the current assessment indicates that black can walk through a minefield of traps and come through with an edge. E takes d5. Knight takes d5. Castle kingside. Bishop e6. Bishop g5. Bishop e7. Bishop takes d5. Bishop takes d5. Knight takes d5. Queen takes d5. Bishop takes e7. Knight takes e7. Rook e1. f6. Black hopes to castle by hand by soon playing king f7, followed by rook f e8, and then king g8. Black has also prevented knight e5. Queen e2. Queen d7. Rook a c1. A more effective continuation was the centralizing move rook a d1, with one nice point illustrated after king f7, queen c4 check, knight d5, now the thematic shot knight e5 check, f captures e5, d captures e5, and black cannot meet the two threats of rook captures d5 and e6 check. C6. The losing move. Black could have come away unscathed with king f7 when white has no apparent way to get at the temporarily exposed black king. D5. This is a beautiful clearance move that does three important things. First, it pries open the c-file for white's exclusive use. Second, the d4 square is vacated to make room for white's knight. The square d4 will become a launch point for a further violation of black's territory by the white knight. Finally, black will no longer have the d5 square available for his own knight. c takes d5, knight d4, king f7, knight e6. The white knight is incredibly strong here. Black must keep watch now over various weak points in his position. First, he must guard against rook c7. Rook h c8. Queen g4. The queen not only attacks g7, but it also lines up on the h3 c8 diagonal, 
menacing black's queen on d7. g6. With g6, von Bartleben finds a very cunning defense. White has a seemingly simple combination now, but there is a small problem of his back rank. Knight g5 check, king to e8. Black must play this or loses queen. Rook takes e7 check. King f8. What happens if he takes the rook? Well, let's see. If queen takes e7, rook takes c8 check, wins a piece. If uh, king takes e7, white wins with queen b4 check. King d8, knight e6 check, either winning a queen or mating. Now if white carelessly grabs the queen, disaster strikes in the form of back rank mate. Rook f7 check. King g8. Rook g7 check. The rook is immune from capture. Queen takes g7, rook takes c8 check, wins easily. And king takes g7, queen takes d7, is check. King h8. Rook takes h7 check. Steinitz has driven the black king across the back rank, and now this move forces it back again. The newly opened h-file is the key to finally clinching the game. King g8. Rook g7 check. King h8. Queen h4 check. The star move. Black must finally take the intrepid rook. King takes g7. Von Bartleben was not known for his strict observance of chess etiquette. And at this point, he just left the chessboard without resigning. Anyway, Steinitz now announced that he had forced mate in eight moves. Queen h7 check. King f8. Queen h8 check. King e7. Queen g7 check. King e8. Queen g8 check. King e7. Queen f7 check. King d8. Queen f8 check. Queen e8, knight f7 check, king d7, queen d6 checkmate. A very pleasing game that featured sacrifices both large and small. The key shot was at clearance sacrifice 17 d5, which set the stage for the final assault on Black's king.